All right, so you guys have seen videos about Jose before, and he's been on his last leg. You can see here that he hasn't been doing his job this year so far, and I have determined that it is actually not the perimeter cable or the internal battery or the keypad that is the typical problem. It's the power supply, the thing that actually charges the base. And we, we're plugged in right now and we're getting no voltage to the base station. Um, so the message on Jose is that it's outside, outside of the boundary, but it's not actually, the unit is just not turned on. So we should have 24-ish volts on those two terminals coming in from the power cable. The, uh, the transformer that comes with this says it should, needs to be one and a half amps at uh, 24 volts. I don't have that, not handy, but I do have um, some other options, 19 volt at 1.3 amps. That might work, but this is kind of one of those weird cables where it's only, it's got one, one wire, one conductor, and it's got this stranded piece I think that it uses as ground. I don't want that. This one, this is an old laptop charger, 90 watt charger, 19 volt output, 4.7 amps, which is way too much. But I don't have another choice. So we're gonna cut into that, splice into that, and see if we can get power. All right, you can see this insignia unit it is putting out 19 volts, which is not exactly what this thing needs, but I don't have exactly what it needs and I'm not buying anything else for this mower. Because even if I get this fixed, there's no guarantee that the actual mower itself is going to continue to run properly. So this is a last ditch repair to hopefully get one more season out of this thing. All right, so we took the laptop charger and we spliced it into the factory Landroid two pin outdoor rated connector. Now I am a hillbilly, but I will not leave those wire nuts. It's temporary if this works. We will, uh, yeah, I've got a solder iron here. We'll solder and heat shrink and we'll make that weatherproof. But first, let's make sure it doesn't, uh, just explode here. All right, here we go, I'm plugging her in. She's plugged in. That light's not on like usual. That's not good. Hmm, let's, dang it, that was my multimeter. I thought something was happening. Let me measure the terminals. Okay, so check it out. We are on the terminals and we are getting the 19 volts, but no lights. What I've noticed though, if you see here, uh, my black probe is on the white wire. So I've got it reversed. See here, when I put red on white and black on black, it says I've got the reverse polarity. That's strange. So we'll flip the wire nuts and we'll try it again. This just feels wrong, but check it out. The light's back, base station has power. The laptop power supply is working. This is so cool. All right, I'm gonna properly make that connection, throw, throw it back outside and see if Jose is ready to do some work. All right, we are back together mostly. Haven't done any final routing on cables. We've got the perimeter wire just temporarily set up again. We've got a solid green light and that is a good sign. Now, I mentioned that that power supply is, you know, it's 3X what the stock works power supply output it in terms of amperage. Uh, so a electrical engineer probably would have installed some 
resistors or something. Uh, but, you know, I didn't. So if you do this, please be careful. Please do so at your own risk. I cannot guarantee that this is safe or smart. Let's power up. You see the screen is just awful. Really bad. Ooh, it didn't stay on. Welcome, let's go. Input pin, don't look. Outside working area, no we're not. Oh, there it goes. Are we gonna mow today? Jesus, we need it, let's see. Yes. The grass is so tall, he's gonna struggle. Thank the Lord. I was about to buy a new one. Not today. Uh oh, he about cut up his brand new cable. Because I'm an idiot. So, there you have it, folks. Yeah, that's what you get for taking two weeks off. Goodness. So you can fix a robot mower with a laptop charger. Hell yeah.